Hello everyone, today we have another live stream and as you can see this time we will talk about fresh release from IBG models. Of course it is modded in 170 second scale and you might guess that it is based on the previous plastic which was copying the V3000S track but this time it's SSM Maltier. It's a German half track and you can see it on the box art. Moreover this version includes flag 38 which is placed in the rear section of the truck so that might be interesting build in a small scale. This is a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff if you order it from IBG models directly or any good model shop and now we will open it and take a closer look inside. So first of all box size is typical here you can see comparison with my hand now. Box art is also quite nice then on this side we have two marking options here you can see them but i think there are more uh, can be replicated if you find some references and here we have three pictures with other kits from the same brand if you would like to build them we have uh, reviews of some of them on our youtube channel so i recommend to check them as well this box is a, a top opening box so just give me a second to open it and here is what we have inside. Plenty of space, so I don't think that something will arrive damaged or broken. But still, if you have a chance to check it before purchase, I would recommend to do so because um, it will ensure that everything will be okay. So all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and then on the bottom we have also the assembly manual and clear plastic sprue. But we will check them a bit later. I would like to start with gray plastic. So as I said, this is a sealed plastic bag. Actually, no, it's already a resealable plastic bag, which is quite surprising for IBG models. And that's why I won't have to use the scissors. So now give me a second to open it. Nice improvement because before IBG models were packed into the sealed plastic bags and it wasn't that cool feature, I would say. So we have a lot of gray plastic frames. For example, here we have first one and I would say it's the smallest one in this kit. Let's zoom in and now you should be able to see it. So we have here some support. I'm not sure where it will be used. We will have to check the assembly manual, but molding quality seems to be fine. And if we flip it over here inside, you can see that you have to cut those pins, plastic pins off, but I think it won't be a difficult task. Next we have slightly bigger plastic frame. This one already carries um, bigger parts as well. For example here we have one piece calling part, that's a radiator grill. Here we have side wheel arches. Actually these are side walls for the bonnet and wheel arches will be separate. Here we have the front bumper, um, leaf springs and here is the, uh, the main frame which is molded as one piece part. So you basically just cut out this part and it will be good to go. Here inside you can see that we have some push pins or push marks in the bonnet area so you will have to fill them in if you would like to open this part and expose it on your model. Next we have the special parts for the flag 38. All of them are fit on the same plastic frame so just give me a second to center it. Now we zoom in and you should be able to see it. So molding quality and detailing looks really cool for such scale, even though I would recommend to replace this metal with metal barrel because I mean it will make a notable difference. And if you flip over this plastic frame here from another side we do not see anything notable I would say, but still I appreciate the molding quality and I think it will be relatively easy to combine all those parts together. Next we have another part for the truck. So here we have the front wheel arches which are molded together with the uh, steps. Also here we have the main frame which is quite narrow but still molded as a one piece part. Here we have the rear wheel arches. Now this is, uh, I'm not sure what is this. I think it will be some side support maybe. We will have to check the assembly manual. Here we have drivetrain parts. And let's flip it over again. We have here some push marks, but this won't be visible as long as you use some dirt here in this area. Next, this is a half track, so that's why we get two absolutely identical plastic frames. I will show you only one because they carry the same set of parts. So here we have the track parts as well as the suspension for the 
um, this rear section which is based on the tracks. As you can see tracks are plastic and that's really cool because you won't have to work with vinyl parts and those parts will be easier to assemble and paint and weather in comparison with vinyl. So it's a definitely a plus for this kit. Next we have this um, sprue with panels for the rear section. Obviously we won't use all of them and of course there is no wooden texture replicated so if you would like to have it you have to play with weathering techniques but otherwise molding quality is on the same level as previous elements so there is nothing to worry about and here we have another plastic frame let's center it a bit just like this so one piece wheels some of them will have to be combined because it had the double wheels set up on the rear um, then here we have engine which is modded as a one piece part I'm a bit confused because I'm trying to remember if the previous release featured the um, engine assembled out of several parts or it was also one piece element uh, thank you for the first like by the way so molding quality looks quite fine especially for such tiny parts here for example you can see comparison with my fingertip of those views they are small but it is not surprising for 170 second scale so as long as you are ready for such um, size you will be good to go and then on the last sprue we can see cap parts front cap parts and because this whole front cap is divided into several uh, panels then we have here for example cooling panels rear wall that's a steering wheel we have also the radiator grill separate doors separate front wall etc etc so all this stuff will have to be combined somehow together and i would recommend to be careful while doing this so that you get the right alignment out of the box without any possible problems now the doors have the internal detailing as well so it hints on the possibility of opening them and exposing what we have inside and having the interior in 170 second scale is quite surprising because usually manufacturers just don't bother with this at all Next we have another plastic bag with clear sprue and this one is more traditional for IBG models because it comes in the sealed plastic bag. So I will need scissors in order to open it. Just give me a second. And straight away I can say that molding quality looks really fine. I don't see any issues with clear parts. But there are no masks included just like in any other IBG models kit. So that's why you will have to cut them by your own. Um, tools and hands. Here you can see all those glasses. Obviously they will be used for the front cap and we also have some of the headlamps and tail lights. Next we have another sealed plastic bag. Here it is. So here manufacturer decided to place the PE thread and decals sheet. So just give me a sec to open it. And we will check what do we have here. Decals come from the tech mod. So printing quality should be more or less fine. And surprisingly we have two PE threads included. So I will show it in a second. First we have the decals sheet. Here you should be able to see them. These are mainly the number plates which will be placed on the truck. Then we have first uh, PE thread which is standard for V3000S truck. So here we have all minor components for internal and external detailing. This is a 170 second scale PE, so you have to use sharp tweezers in order to apply all this stuff on the plastic. And maybe some good CA glue as well. And then we have another P thread. This one is more for flag, which is based in the rear section of the truck. And again, this is unpainted P thread, so you will be free to cover it with any shade you would like to. And then last but not the least is the assembly manual. Here it is. Let's zoom out a bit. Now you should be able to see it. So here on the first page we do not have any history note. We have only the paint chart and also let's say the images of the decals and P thread. Um, then on the next page we have the parts map. For the plastic parts, assembly process starts with engine. Here you have to combine several parts and also P parts for radiator, for example. And here we continue with various pipings. Then we assemble the 
axle. I think that's the front axle. Here you will have to work on the P parts once again. Then we continue by installing all this stuff on the main frame here. Here you can see engine installation. Next we have front wheel axle in the place and wheels are installed straight away. That is quite surprising. And this is an exhaust line. Then we continue with the half track parts. So it means the separate bogies with road wheels. Then you do the same operation from another side. It might be a bit tedious work because there are a lot of parts involved. But if you are calm and focused, you will do it um, in a quick way, I would say. Here we continue with track installation. So don't confuse some parts because they might look similar um, and then you will get the wrong placement. Then we continue with the front cap assembly. Here you can see the installation of the front wall, doors and know that doors can be positioned in open version so it will be up to you which one you will choose. Then here we continue with the bonnet assembly. That's a special holder for the fuel can. Here we install the headlamps and also assemble the rear section. And then starts the most interesting stuff because we will have to assemble all this stuff for the Flag 38. And as you can see it will also involve a lot of P parts so be ready for this. Next final steps involve installation of those armor shields on the flag. Then we install flag on this support and then this support, front cap and rear section they go on the chassis which was assembled separately. It might be a nice idea to paint them all separately and then just join them together but I'm not sure how nice fitment will be out of the box. Let's say it's right. Here we have first marking option. This one comes from the German um, half track unknown unit 1944 and then we have another one. This one is also unknown unit 1944 but this one is a camouflage version. Of course nobody stops you from searching for some reference photos and copying something different in such small scale. So as I said this kit should be already available for purchase on official IBG models website. I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Button should be somewhere here. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.